the dynamic hypnotics. It's a little known fact that the very first was made of brontosaurus moss and ground cover, which just goes to show how long the casserole has been a favourite. This morning, Anthony's hopefully tackling the ultimate comfort dish with slightly more appealing ingredients. Good mm. morning, Anthony. Good morning, Tal. Good morning. morning. I love morning. a casserole. I love a good soul food. It is good winter food. It is, isn't it? Mm. It's, it's heading that way. So we're going to kick right into it. Dave, this Are is you? something you will love. Good. This part of it. No, I might actually get you to stand up. Yes. Oh, because it's neat and tidy. It's neat and tidy. Though there is a hole. So in. what we're going to do is we're going to flour the, the beef and we're going to cover it. Why do you have to flour. do that? Mm. You don't have to. There are people at home who kind of... No? Should I? No, I never do. Okay, th this is the reason you do it. So we've got a bit of our... We've already done some. Lamb. Our lamb here. What and sort I'll, of lamb? Any so lamb? Lamb shoulder, not lamb, lamb fillet. It's, so it's a working muscle. So okay. we're going to have to break these fibres down when we cook it long and slow. Okay. And the reason you flour it is it, it will help thicken my sauce. Right. So I'm just going to uh, tie that in a bit of a knot for you so you don't get it on yourself. All right, and then we can undo that. Just slice it up. And, and then you can just shake that around. Okay? Okay. All right. Just from the side there. And, and what that will do is... There's a um, hole in your bag will, there. It will thicken, it will thicken our sauce. And if you're gluten intolerant, you could use a potato flour or corn flour instead, right? And so it thickens the sauce. Thickens the sauce. some pepper and salt, is There's there? salt and pepper in there as well, season it. How do we feel now, David? That's great. Oh, it's like a Cirque du Soleil performance, isn't it? Amazing. Beautiful. So and then we quickly fry that off, do we? And we fry this off. Mm -hmm. uh, so I've got a little bit of oil here and some butter as well. It's not true what they say about you in the kitchen, David. <laughs> <laughs> what do they say about me in the kitchen? No, 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 and, you know, do they say it about me when they're not in the kitchen? It's just that, you know, you spend all your time wiping instead of cooking. No, I cook and wipe. Cook and wipe at the yes. same time? Yes. Ah, what you mean, you do two things at once? Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, I'm, I'm unique in the world of man. <clears throat> okay, now, you've got butter and oil. Is there any reason for that? Well, uh, the butter for flavour, mm -hmm. the oil will just... Uh, give it a bit of volume as well as stop the butter from burning a okay. bit as well. So I drop my meat in here and we're going to brown that off. So the notion of we're, we're tossing the, the meat in flour to lock in the juices mm -hmm. is not true. Right. Okay? It doesn't do that because we're cooking it for an hour and a half of basically... So we're only browning to get the flavour. We're browning to get a, right. a bit of a caramel flavour and also colour into our sauce when we actually make the casserole itself. Mm -hmm. And so now we don't why have a dirty you, bowl. Why can't you just add the flour to the, the, to the, the mixture later? Um, it would just sort of go gluggy and possibly lumpy. Oh, okay. And so this way we're cooking the flour out and as I said we're adding colour. So what we get is... And also can I add there too that, that when, when you, if, if you add flour sort of late in the process you can taste it, can't you, unless oh, you cook definitely. it off like this? Most definitely, Kim, mm. yeah. And you asked before, do you have to do this? No, because a lot of people at home will just throw their meat in uh, and there's nothing wrong with that, but what it might, you run the risk of maybe making your sauce kind of go cloudy and, and kind of unappetizing looking. So mm. by making the meat look like this, like browning it off, mm -hmm. um, it'll give a lot of a, sort of a caramel colour to the sauce. Yes, Brown and you should do that in the pot you cook it in. Well, ideally, yeah. Like yeah. if you've got a good um, uh, casserole dish like this. Well, that, we're doing, we're doing... What, what is this? What Le brand? Le Creuset. Le, Le Creuset. Le Creuset. Yep. Um, doing this, will that lock in... Sometimes when I make uh, lamb casserole, it, gets, it tends to get a little oily. Uh, will that lock in the oil? Will that reduce oil at all? It will certainly absorb. The flour will certainly absorb some of the oil. Uh, maybe lamb shanks either, can be a little oily. Maybe I'm find. using the wrong bit of lamb. Maybe. Possibly. Maybe. Uh, maybe it's a bit too fatty. Okay. I don't know. Maybe too. Um, Trim that fat off. This is this particular piece we're using here is lamb shoulder. Mm. Um, so shoulder. that might be the trick. Yeah. So let's pretend we've all browned this off, right? In it goes. Mm -hmm. And to that, we're going to add our. Um, you could fry all this onion off as well. Right. Our, sort of our aromat. What call it our aromatic vegetables. Mm -hmm. So carrot, onion, celery. Mm -hmm. No goes potato. In there. Our potato comes later. Ooh. Actually, what I might do is just fry off our tomato paste with. Red wine, that's a joy. And our stock goes in here as well. We've got a bit of chicken stock and beef stock. I'm just smelling it. Oh, I wasn't trying to drink it, I was just smelling right. it. Right, sure. I'm just, well, you always say you need to cook with wine exactly. that you would drink. So then, good. so we've got red wine. You don't have to use red wine. You mm -hmm. can just bulk it out with stock if you wanted to. Okay. And uh, we're using a little bit of garlic and rosemary in here as well mm -hmm. to match. So if this was a beef casserole, I might use a different herb, like, say, uh, uh, thyme. Works well with beef. Thyme, really? okay. Thyme. All right. Okay. Lamb and rosemary, beef and thyme. I remember exactly. that. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So we can put all this in now. 
I was reading about the uh, the CSIRO have recently done a, uh, some research into the omega-3 fatty acids that are found in lamb. Mm -hmm. And apparently, they are at levels higher than fish. Wow, I yeah. didn't know that. That's yeah. amazing. So lamb is a very good thing for you. It is. In omega-3s. Yeah. Wow. It's to do with um, it being grass-fed. Whereas oldish uh, sheep, mutton, say beef, uh, tend to be f start on grass and finished on grain, and they don't have those. Um, basically, they they lose their omega three. Um, what would you call it? Characteristics. Right. Whereas lamb is pretty much on mother's milk and grass, and so it's high in omega three. Yeah. So like higher that. than everything. Yes. That's Huge. fascinating. I'm exactly. Very so, into that. basically. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. Right. Yeah, right, I know right. what I'm doing. Hang on, don't let me. Not that uh, you like with things out of the stove. Out of the oven, then actually. it goes in the oven for an hour and a half. Is that all? So this is not necessarily a slow cook thing? Or do you call it well, a slow Well, this is slow cook cooked thing? as opposed to, say, if this was a chicken casserole using thigh meat, leg thigh, would be cooked in half the time. Right. 40, 45 minutes. Did you not add any extra liquid to that? No. no. Oh. Because no, that's, that's um, that's very... Liquidy juicy. and yes. juicy. Well, basically, again, the, the liquid comes out of the meat. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and as you can see, the sauce is quite thick in that. Absolutely I actually want to mess this spoon up. Looking. So we've got some mash here. I'm going to do this tonight for dinner. Ooh, that mash looks good too. It, it's really good. This is called Paris mash. This is a whole other segment. Oh, oh, oh. You must tell me about Paris mash because my husband is addicted to Paris mash. Yeah, you don't At want Bilson's to. At Bilson's restaurant. Yep. They have par in Sydney, they have Paris mash, and it is absolutely to do You could have a whole meal just on potato. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to make you show me how to do it now. Yeah. Um, well, which restaurant was that, Kim, that had the Paris mash? Oh, yeah. Well, it was filthy. I haven't been there for many years, but anyway. Uh, it was just a name I thought of. Was, I just thought of it. What is it? Just quickly, what is Paris mash? Paris mash? mash? It's evil, evil stuff. It's evil. Mm. Right. Yeah. It's, it's French. It's a it's roast French. meal, isn't it? You know, it's, uh, <laughs> it's basically almost equal parts potato and cream and butter right yeah just because it does look extra sort of creamy doesn't no it exactly it's good <coughs> and you wouldn't, and you wouldn't uh, feel uh, obliged to put a green vegetable on that plate would you Oh, well, uh, there is. There's celery. Well, you know, there's, there's a time there's and a, in it. There's a time and a place for being green vegetables. I might finish this with some fresh peas in it, but now no, it's not the that. time. Tomorrow night <laughs> with broccoli. Oh, you just have to be careful. Better, well, that's the thing it? because you mm. can reheat and reheat and reheat. Exactly. This this thing stores amazingly well. Like three or four days from now, it'll be even better as the two become one. The meat and the mm. sauce come together. Oh, my goodness. They're one. Just on that point, how often can you reheat something before it gets a bit? bit average. Or, 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 well, dangerous. A um, concern. Health concern. Look, if, if this was left over now, I would only take out a small amount for mm. tomorrow night's dinner right. mm. and then uh, reheat that. Yeah. And again, okay, so probably always... twice, mm. yeah. two or three times. But you would, this amount wouldn't last that long anyway. That is so good. Now, if you would like Anthony's recipe for lamb casserole, just look on... Um, our website for the details. What do that, you think? That is so, so me. Oh, isn't that, is that so, so good? Gee, the mash is good. How? I <laughs> told mash? you, didn't I? I told <laughs> you. All right, we want to know about the mash. <laughs> okay. All right, thanks, Tel. We'll be back with Ooh, more pleasure. of us after this. Yeah.